So I think to answer your question, I would want to start with, you know, what, what is the restaurant we're talking about expanding? I think the ones that can do well in suburbs in today's world are probably the ones that do have a strong takeout business, but also can take advantage of uh, less expensive real estate in the burbs to still offer that in-person experience for when reopening is fully in effect. And so I think Dig's actually a good example of a concept that, and, and Kava is another where they've done really well, both in urban and in suburban environments. And so I'm excited to watch the Digs, the Kavas, the Just Howls of the world expand uh, beyond urban uh, over the next few years. Kristen, your thoughts? Yeah, I think, you know, first of all, to even be able to ask this question and have like, a variety of answers beyond just like, I would open up a brick and mortar in the center of the town, you know, is alone just a huge step forward. Um, I think it's really interesting that the ability to license and monetize your brands in kind of non-traditional ways, either through a direct consumer CPG business or just licensing, you know, maybe a streamlined delivery portion of your menu out to another operator. Those types of questions I feel like are just really exciting that a brand now, if you've, you know, built it over a number of years, you get to explore as, you know, new ways to really grow your business. Even things like Gold Belly, right, can take advantage of, you know, a brand that has a huge customer base in New York City, but then the pandemic, poof, everyone went across the country. You know, they're craving the bagels and locks from, you know, their favorite New York City establishment. They now can order that to wherever they are. Um, you know, to, to Rob's point, I feel that, you know, if I was in the suburbs, I would certainly not be considering just like a delivery only strategy, but rather really ensuring that you have a number of different touch points. drive throughs are really interesting. Obviously not every brand can afford that and build it out, but I think it's, um, it's noble that a lot of the concepts are exploring that sweet green is building drive throughs but even others that are exploring more um, like limited service formats are not completely doing away with customer interaction and pickup, even let it for restaurants, but other retail stores has been a really important channel. And so I think that it's an evolution of the interaction with the guests, but it's still, I don't think will be exclusively delivery. 